Madam, for giving me this opportunity to say a few words on this bill. I belong to Manipur. I'm also a lone member from my party, and we are two MPs from Manipur. The state of Manipur for a long time has been going through this fear and apprehension when the Citizenship Amendment Bill was brought into discussion. Manipur has been experiencing a lot of protest, turmoil, and confusion under this particular issue. But today, I would like to thank the Honorable Prime Minister and the Honorable Home Minister for considering the points of peril in the state of Manipur. And, sir, uh, madam, I want to say thank you because this which was the state was afraid of that after the aftermath of the implementation of the Citizenship Amendment Bill, what would happen to the demography of the state? But since the state of Manipur is now being brought under the purview of the ILP, the Inner Line Permit, I'm sure that the state will come to rest. But sir, as you have mentioned in the floor of the House, that the ILP would be brought into consideration if this categorically it is mentioned in the amendment bill or if any orders would be uh, brought forth so that it brings to rest the fears of our people we will be very grateful sir uh, madam we are also we are also confident that this government will continue to look at uh, the apprehensions of various minority people the indigenous people of the region. We are small states, we are small in our numbers, but this represents a very strategic part of our country, a very strategic area, and therefore because of the smallness of our number, we only hope that it will not be neglected as you have, after so many years and so many months of consideration, finally the fears and apprehensions are being put to rest. There are yet a few other agendas that concern our people, and particularly as we are from the Naga community, the Naga peace process is also underway. And so we, f we are hopeful that three of the most important bills, contentious bills that have been uh, in the concerns of the Indian, Indian state for a long time has been already considered and that has been passed. There is yet one more that needs to be done, and I hope that in the few months or weeks or months to come, the Naga Peace Accord also will be brought to rest and that that strategic part of the Union of India, the North East India, will continue to experience peace, tranquility and development. Thank you very much and I support this bill. Thank you, Thank you very much.